reporting. Thank you. And tonight's Colorton Investigates follow-up report. There's a new development in the CNH hog farm controversy, and it could potentially work in favor of the farm. Perhaps you recall that uh, CNH near Mount Judy, Arkansas, was denied a permit to continue operations after opponents of the farm raised concerns about hog waste that could have potentially contaminated the nearby Buffalo River. Color 10's Crystal Blair tells us live right now that it's been determined that the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality, or the ADEQ, missed a step in denying that permit. Crystal. Well, David and Heather, the step that was missed was allowing the public to comment on this issue. Initially, the ADEQ approved the permit for CNH to continue operating their hog farm, but they reversed that decision after receiving more than 20,000 public comments. The ADEQ considered that reverse decision final, but CNH is arguing that was not final, but a reverse decision, or what's legally called a draft decision. Jason Henson is president of CNH. In the law says, if you make a permitting decision change, you have to have that to go back out to public comment again. A judge agreed with Henson. The ALJ ruled that the uh, ADQ did not follow, follow the rules and regulations that they were supposed to follow on denying the permit. So his recommendations to the PC and E committee is that it be remanded back to uh, the ADQ. And have them redo it. So, will allowing public comments work in favor of the hog farm this time around? Gordon Watkins, president of the Buffalo River Watershed Alliance, thinks not. Well, I think the, the biggest difference it makes is it's a delaying tactic. I think that just because, meanwhile, they're allowed to continue operating, continue spread, spreading waste on a permit that's been expired for over two years now. All in all, Watkins admits they haven't proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that CNH Hog Farm is contaminating the Buffalo River. No, there's not a not a, a direct smoking gun that's going to going to attribute that impairment directly to CNH. But he does believe it's something the state can prove. There is technology out there that's that's available and and uh, would be able to to make those determinations. But the state. Uh, seems at every turn to, to avoid uh, having to do that. Now, I did hear from the ADEQ via email. They said that because this case is on appeal, they can't comment on it, but it will go before the Arkansas Pollution Control and Ecology Commission on August the 24th. I do plan to have an update on the outcome of that meeting. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Color 10 News, Ozarks First. All right, Crystal Blair tonight. Thanks. Uh, putting crime